It was winter on the island of Sodor. The snow covered fields and railway lines. All the engines were hard at work except Percy. Come on, Percy, this isn't time to have a rest. I'm stuck, moaned Percy, and my funnel's freezing up. Driver's sent for help. Ha! huffed Thomas, and went on his way. Later, Thomas had to help clear snow by a tunnel, but it was too deep and he got stuck. Thomas was very cross. Snow is nothing but trouble, he moaned. Rusty was close by. Driver says that this winter is just about as bad as the worst winter of all. How worst? asked Thomas. I'll tell you, replied Rusty, and the little engine did. Scarlowy was working the line to the slate mines in the mountains. When the snow came, it was difficult to work. They used the snow as a double buffer zone to help stop trucks skidding through to the ravine. One day, Scarlowy set off to the mines with some empty trucks. Meanwhile, there was trouble at the mine. The winch that hauls the trucks up and down wasn't working properly. Scarlowy had reached the ravine. High above him were the mine yards. That snow looks dangerous, said his driver. The sound of your engine and the trucks could cause an avalanche. I'll set off an emergency cap and see what happens. Scar Lowy watched as his driver prepared it. Then they ran over the cap. The bang echoed round the gorge. Nothing happened. Good, said his driver. All's well, we'll have a cup of cocoa and then make our way. But high above them, all was not well. A long line of full trucks was about to be winched down the slope. They had just started their journey when some empty trucks became derailed. The winch groaned. Break it! Snap it! shouted the trucks. And they did. On, on, on! Faster, faster! they giggled. The snowbank and buffers will stop them, said a workman. But he was wrong. The trucks plunged into the ravine. Scarlowy and his driver heard the noise and looked up. Avalanche! they cried. When the snow plume cleared, there was no sign of Scarlowy. He was buried deep inside the high drift blocking the ravine. And then came the funny part. What's the funny part about an avalanche? asked Thomas. Well... No one knew that the heat from Scarlowy's engine had helped to make an igloo. It's a snowball! It's a snow house. It's an engine. They cleared away the ice only to find Scarlowy's driver and fireman drinking cocoa as if nothing had happened. Luckily for them, but it just goes to show you can't trust trucks. Or snow, said Rusty. The men had just cleared the snow away from him when Gordon puffed by with his machine. Hey, look out, there's snow about, laughed Gordon. He stopped by the tunnel and wheeshed loudly. Then it happened. Uh -oh. Help! cried Gordon. If Scar Lowy survived a snowfall and laughed, surely a big proud engine like you can do the same, chuckled Thomas. <laughs> Moaned Gordon, and then fell as silent as the snow.